Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. This is PBS. Funding for Austin City Limits is made possible in part by 104 FM KXDD. For today's hot new country, it's 104 FM KXDD. Why is it mothers think that if it hurts or tastes bad, it must be good for you? Why is it that Americans are so sadomasochistic when it comes to medicine? When children come running with cuts and scrapes, we further torment them by putting alcohol, iodine, and myrthiolate on their wounds. In reality, if the treatment hurts, it may be further damaging sensitive tissue. All you really need to do is wash the wound with soap and water and put hydrogen peroxide and an antibiotic cream on it. Very little hassle and best of all, no pain. And today's ouchless bandages make removal less traumatic. Most people think a strong, terrible-tasting mouthwash is the best thing for a sore throat. But there's no evidence that such products work to speed healing. And new research suggests that regular use of a high alcohol content mouthwash may increase the risk of mouth cancer. Gargling with salt water is more appropriate and doesn't taste nearly as bad. Castor oil. Ah, is another old-time remedy that may have benefited from the idea that if it tastes bad, it must be good for you. Many senior citizens still shudder when they recall the smell and taste of this laxative inflicted on them as children. Today we know that regular laxative use can lead to chronic constipation. Fiber, fruits, and vegetables, plenty of fluids, and regular exercise are more palatable, and they're a lot healthier. Oh. It's time to give up our penchant for pain. Modern medicines don't have to hurt or taste awful to be effective. Joe Graydon is the author of books, newspapers, and magazine articles on health and drug issues, including Joe Graydon's The People's Pharmacy. You're watching KYVE Yakima, television and then some. Funding for Country Roads is provided in part by Central Washington Recycling. Central Washington Recycling, working towards making our planet environmentally sound, both now and in the future. And by Yakima's first and only New Country Station. New Country, Kicks 93. New Country, Kicks 93.